what's going on gang welcome back to another putting up with the pom-poms youtube tutorial i am handyman clarence so you know what that means the overall should have gave it away we are doing another home decor video and tis the season to be jolly fa la 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 My dining room because we are about to put up the Christmas tree and I want to show you guys how I put up and decorate my Christmas tree to have the ultimate glam Christmas so let's go ahead and get started we're gonna unpack the Christmas tree because I had to buy a new one I had to get a slim one since our big fat one won't fit over there anymore let's go ahead and jump right into it Merry Christmas, happy holidays, yes, 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 tis the season to be jolly, and it's also the season to decorate the hell out of my house. I have so much fun doing Christmas decor. You can really just be elaborate as much as you want to. I am so dramatic with my decorations, literally, I am so dramatic. I have eight Christmas trees. You just cannot be not dramatic with eight Christmas trees. So this is one of the eight, the main Christmas tree that sits in our front living room. Well, it's not even the main Christmas tree because I got like five Christmas trees outside that you have to watch. But anyways, we'll give y'all a full Christmas tour of the entire house after I'm done with everything. But as of right now, let's talk about this Christmas tree in my living room. So decorating my Christmas tree this year, I'm doing blue, navy, and silver, and white. You know, pretty much all those nice colors that play along with each other. The inside of my house is mainly like blues and grays anyway, so I felt like this would've just like went right along with everything going on in my, at least my main floor of my house. So taking out our wonderful new skinny Christmas tree that we had this year because I had to move my big fat one outside because it won't fit in my living room um, last year I didn't really have no furniture in this room and now I have it all decked out with all of my stuff including my wine bar matter of fact speaking of my wine bar mamas if you have not seen that tutorial on the wine bar please check it out it will be under the Handyman man clearance playlist he has also renovated a uh, or repurposed a dressing dresser into a entertainment center as well and I did pretty much did the same thing from a wine bar and honey I love it so anyways back to the tutorial I'm sorry I feel like I need a glass of wine now hold on one moment Okay, my bad. I'm back. So uh, fluff out your tree, of course. Fluff, fluff, fluff. That's just playing around with a bunch of branches. Let's get into what we really want to know. How to decorate that sucker. So uh, when it comes to your ornaments, the more the freaking merrier. Get all kinds of sizes. Get a variety of colors. All colors that complement one another. Like I said, I'm doing navy, blue, and silver. And I also sprinkled in some white in there. That is what you're going to, that's going to be the key of making your Christmas tree go from black to mm, girl this look like it belongs in the home goods now once we have collected the ornaments we will be using we're gonna first go in with our big fluffy ribbon when I say fluffy I mean you need to find like a two feet wide ribbon I'm being dramatic it don't have to be that wide I'm doing a skinny tree anyway so anything over like cinch six inches probably would have overwhelmed this tree but if you have a nice juicy tree by all means get the fluffiest thing you can find so this is one that I found at my local bitlocks girl it was only six dollars and I had a 20 percent off coupon so perfect so I am just pretty much wrapping it around now I did pretty big gaps in between my ribbon if I had a fatter tree I would have did my gaps a little bit smaller but I didn't because I wanted to have room for my ornaments as well. And I just use those little ornament hooks to attach the ribbon to the branches. That way it's not like falling off of the tree. Now it's time to attach all of our multiple multi-size 
ornaments. Now I'm just showing you guys the proper way to put an ornament on a tree. I have a house of three little girls and my goodness, they love to touch things. I have to make sure my ornaments are gonna stay on my tree. Now of course I buy shatterproof ornaments because I do not believe in glass, not when you have children and pets, but if you do, this is probably the best method to make sure that your ornaments stay on your tree. I wrap the hook around the ornament and I also wrap the hook onto the branch of the tree. So that thing is not going anywhere. And I make sure that I stuff the ornaments in the tree. Don't leave them dangling on the edge of nowhere about to, you know, jump for their life. Stuff it up in there. Once we do that, apply our little curly things. Those are just going to be randomly placed throughout the tree. I only bought one pack because like I said, I have a little slim she on a diet tree so if you have a fatter one I recommend buying anywhere from two to three curly thingies just to add some dimension and texture to your tree right so this is what she is looking like right now I added the star on top I added my little curly things right here put in random little spots just to give it body the biggest thing about Christmas trees is to have as much texture, color, as much as possible to give it its fullness. So I'm going to take these flowers and add them on there. I really wanted some silver ones, but I couldn't find any. So I'm just going to spray paint these silver real quick and then we are gonna let them dry overnight and apply them to add even more fullness to our tree. All right, so I cut all my flowers off the stem. I need to hurry up because it's freezing out here. And I'm just placing them up so that I can spray paint them all silver. And I'm gonna try to do this without getting my hands painted silver as much as possible. And then uh, this is the spray paint I'll be using. Right here, metallic bright silver. So it's gonna give it that nice metallic silver, pretty much the color of this top. And we're gonna shake it up real good and start spray painting. All Y'all cannot tell me little skinny Minnie is not looking cute. Look at her. She like she just put on 20 pounds. All that ornaments and fluff going on with her. So now that everything is complete with our tree, don't forget we got to do the bottom of the tree. We have to add in a skirt. Now, I usually buy the little Christmas tree skirts, but this year, since I'm doing like a winter wonderland theme, I decided to buy that buffalo snow crap that's like pretty much cotton in a freaking bag. And I just pretty much stuff that thing down near the bottom make a nice little snow palette down there and the girls think it is absolutely the cutest and that is pretty much it the tree is completed all we have to do now is add our presents so thank you guys for joining us on another handyman clearance home decor christmas decoration video we will catch y'all on another one thank you for watching don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you aren't already subscribed to putting up with the pawpaws be blessed and be safe